Hello everybody, my name is Stolomon Talicus. I am one of the most esteemed professors at the Twilight Academy, and I have a master's degree in Arcanology with a focus on Arcane Theory, which is the matter we will be discussing today. But first, we have to clarify an important question and answer it for those of you who do not yet know that answer. The question is, as it has been asked many times, what is magic? Well, while we might not know its true origins, we have defined it. The definition of magic is the manipulation of reality through non-physical or non-material means. Now, the next question is, why is it useful? How is it useful? Many of you here today have seen the likes of a spell before, so let's go ahead and let's define what a spell is. A spell is the utilization of magic to achieve an intended effect, or multiple intended effects. A spell has multiple steps. The first part of the spell is called the study. So, I will be performing a demonstration of a spell so that you all can understand. I would take my spell book, locate the spell which I would wish to cast. Today I will be performing Ghost Sound, an easy enough spell. I will study it quickly. Many of you will be not able to study it as quickly as I am, just because you are all not even initiates into this art yet. And next, the casting. There will be a step after the casting called the manifestation. The casting will be the motions and words that I use, and the materials that I utilize. Manifestation is the effect that is created, which will be... Oh, let's making... Oh, let's make it the sound of a bleating goat. I've collected some wax from my candle. Some happen to drip onto my desk, so I will use this. So, in the casting of the spell, I warm the wax in my fingers. The sound of bleating goat. <laughs> As you can see, that would be the manifestation. Directly after that would come either the dismissal or the conclusion. In this case, it is indeed a conclusion. The difference between the two, the two are very similar, is that a dismissal is more purposeful. A conclusion is more like, say, a petering out of the spell's energies, as some believe it to be. So, what is the meaning of all of this? The meaning of this class is to understand not the what's of magic and of spells. It is to understand the why's and the how's. This is arcane theory. Arcane theory is used and studied to answer the questions that we have about arcane magic in particular. Questions like, what is the nature of magic? Where does it come from? How do certain circumstances modify its effects? Arcane theory is needed to explain 
mostly arcane magic, as there are many more mysteries to it than in, say, alchemy, or in divine magic, which will be the reasons we will not be covering these topics as much. Now, of course, this is a course in magical theory, so as it is an analogous subject, we will be touching the top surface, as it were. We will also not be covering topics such as how to perform spells, or how to keep your spell book, or how to study magic. This is simply the theories we have for why it works. Always remember that. We are studying the whys of magic, not the whats. We are studying the causes, not the effects. It's very important. To leave you, after this lecture, with a thought to ponder until we return, I will propose one theory I have as to where magic comes from. There are many who believe in this theory alongside me, so if you meet another such wizard or arcanist who mentions similar ideas, do not be surprised. What we have collectively called this theory is the Arcane Field Theory. It is belief that throughout all the planes, all realities, there is an ocean of energy which can be tapped into to create magical effects. Certain people, we call them sorcerers, have ventured so close to the line of the shore of this ocean of magic that they can simply pick it up with their hands and manipulate it at will. Others, such as us common folk, how tragic are we? We must use ways to walk closer to the shore and to artificially create a link to this ocean of arcane energy, such as the study of this craft. Anyway, that is one of three. There are many others. We'll see you in the next lecture. Farewell.